Welcome to From Soup to Tomatoes. My name is Renee. I'm a registered nurse and personal trainer. And for the gentle workout, we use um, a resistance band. But for now, we'll put that aside. I hope you brought a drink. Feel free to take a drink anytime you want. We always begin our practice at the um, gentle here with feet hip width apart, knees over ankles, shoulders back, chest out, perhaps a big smile, and we begin to march. Good. So a lot of times on Fridays, uh, we wear red, and that's not everybody, and that's okay, but wearing red is um, something people have been doing since World War II, and it's just a way to kind of bring tribute to the people who serve in the armed forces or in the Navy. So to all of you and the people that uh, uh, support those wonderful people, I think wearing the red is nice, and I think lately we really need to bring attention to, to all of that, right, to history. So good job, good job. So right now we're going to begin with a little bit of warm-up. So we're going to stretch our arms out to the side, stretch our arms forward, and then up. Woo! Feeling good already? Let's do it again. Out to the front and up. All right. Two more times. Out to the front and up. Woo! One more. Out to the front and up. Fantastic. Now we're going to take it to toe taps. We're just going to tap our toes while our heels stay on the floor. Then we inhale our arms up for 30 seconds. We're going to do this nice open chest stretch. Inhaling up. Exhaling, squeezing the shoulder blades down and back as we lift those toes. That's the stuff. So good. Woo! Fantastic. Are we feeling our bodies? Are they waking up and saying hello? Fantastic. Elbows together. We've got 30 more seconds. Keep those toes tapping. Open that chest. Big deep breaths. Woo! Good. 10 seconds. 10 more seconds. Big deep breaths. Five. Three, two, one, done. Now, opposite movement, right? The calf press. So we're going to do, let's do five today. Five, five, and five, just to be fancy. So going on both toes and then releasing ourselves, our heels down. So up on the toes and down. Toe and down. Very good. Okay, now it gets even better. You know, lift one side, lift a big toe up, and then do a calf press for five on the other foot. Two, nice and slow, so we get to hold this leg up for longer. Three, four, oh, could you feel it? Woo! All right, put that leg down. Other side, lift with the big toe, five on this leg. One, Two, oh yes, three, four, and then one more, five. Fantastic. All right, so the first one I want to do today is the leg press. So the idea is we always want to press the heel out, inhale, exhale, pull the, the knee into our chest. Inhale, leg out. Exhale, pull in and crunch the abs in. Exhale, or inhale, exhale in. Good, again. With the breath, four more. Through the heel, inhale, exhale in. Pull those abs in, three more. Two more, two more. One more, one more. Do you feel that leg? Is it saying hello? Good, good. All right, let's do the other side. You'll forget all about that leg. I know, I know. It is a quad exercise, so perfect. 
So remember, press the heel out, inhale. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, press the heel out. Exhale, pull that knee in, pull those abs in. Inhale, press the heel out. Exhale, pull the abs in. Okay, now do it. It's the most fun thing you've ever done for four more. Okay, maybe not the most fun thing. Three more. Two more. One more. Fantastic. Put that leg down. Put that leg down. Now we're going to go out to the side. So we're going to keep the leg bent. First uh, variation. So out and in. One. Out and in. Two. Out. Nice and tall. And in. Three. With the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Inhale, exhale. Two more. One more. Hold it right there. Don't put it down yet. Exhale in for four crunches. Inhale down. Exhale in. Two more after this one. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Now you feel that leg, yes? Oh, let that beautiful leg rest now. And then you can enjoy your resting as we get ready with the other leg. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, press into this leg. Inhale, exhale. Woo! This is getting fun, yes? Four more. With the breath. It's all about the breath. Perfect. Two more. One more. One more. Hold it. Don't, don't drop it. Exhale in. Inhale, return. Exhale in. Inhale, return. Exhale in. Inhale, return. One more. Woo! Good job. Good job. I know. I know. I can't help myself sometimes, you know? All right. So let's grab our band and notice the difference uh, at the end when we do the leg curl or the, the leg press, how much easier it is with the band. It is easier, but we're using more muscles, like more groups of muscles. So that's, that's kind of the trade-off. So you want to put the band on your one foot with your microphone hold. Not too, too tight because we're going to be doing curls to begin with. So you can flex the foot and keep the knee soft. And get your shoulders back, chest out, arms to the front. Just like this. Now you're going to curl the biceps or the fists in. And then release them. And then do it again. Curl the fists and try to keep the elbows up. It's called a preacher curl. Good. Again. Curl and extend. Woo! Squeeze our bums. Curl. Extend. Squeeze your bum. Yes, pull the abs in. Curl. Extend. Squeeze your bum. Pull your abs in. Two more. One more. Woo! Now you feel those, yes? Release the arms. Make sure there's space behind you for your row. So you're going to pull the palms Towards your hips, pull the elbows back, squeeze them again. Ah, that's it. Exhale, release. Inhale, row. If it's not difficult enough now, you can add a little more resistance. If you feel like, man, you know, the biceps are smaller than the, the latissimus dorsi. Squeeze, stick the chest out, and release. And we do it again four more times. Inhale, squeeze, release. Beautiful. Inhale, squeeze. Release. Two more. Two more. Inhale, squeeze. Release. And one more. Good. Hold it. Point your toe. Good. And again, point your toe and then flex it all the way back. Point it 
and flex it all the way back for the heel to stick out. Point, flex, point, flex. Three more, big deep breaths. Point, flex, two more. One more. Holding this position. We're going to exhale in, inhale and press out. Exhale in, inhale and press that heel out. Good job. It's easier without, uh, without just using our legs, yes? Three more to enjoy. Exhale, pull those abs in. Inhale, press that heel out. Exhale, pull those abs in. Inhale, press that heel out. One more. Exhale, inhale. Very good. Release, release. Very good, very good. Do you notice the difference, right? When we added the band, it really made that leg press a lot, lot easier. And if you forget what I mean, we'll be doing that leg press again after. So you'll be able to compare. So remember, we're doing a curl first. So not too much tension, uh, but kind of in that same microphone hold. We extend the leg. You can keep the knee soft. We want to flex the foot or point the toe. And then you're going to curl the fists towards the shoulders and then release them back to straight. Shoulders back, chest out, abs in. Inhale, curl. Exhale, release. Inhale, curl, exhale, release. So basically, I'm just keeping my arms straight and then bending them, yes. Good, now four more like that. Shoulders back, chest out, curl, extend. Shoulders back, chest out, inhale, exhale. Two more, two more. Doing really good. One more. That's it. That's it. You may want to add a little more tension. Pull those elbows back. Squeeze them against your rib cage. Yes. And release. Row should be much easier. Squeeze and release. Do you want to feel like your chest is sticking out at the end? Perfect. Looks good. Good. Halfway there now. Four more to enjoy. Three more. Three more. Two more. Two more. And then one more. And we hold it. We point the toe. And then we bring the toe all the way back till our heel sticks out. We feel a stretch in the calf. Point the toe. Pull the toe towards you as much as possible. Point it. Flex it. Point it. Flex it. Four more. Three more. So good, right? Woo! Two more. Squeeze your bum. Might as well. One more. Very good. So last exercise here. Exhale, inhale. Well, in this series. Exhale, inhale. Woo! Exhale, inhale. Press that heel out. Exhale into your chest. Exhale, press that heel out. Four more. Actually, it should be exhale in, inhale out. Three more. Keep those elbows tight. Two more. Press that heel out. Exhale, bring the eyes in one more time. Good. And release it when you're done. When you're done. All right. So let's uh, take that band and sit on the band because we've got some exciting stuff to do. Yes? Woo! It's getting exciting already, isn't it? Taking our sweaters off, getting warmer. Oh, you know I love it. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, I was thinking what might be fun 
is to do diagonal moves, you know? We feel really successful, it's fun. So let's uh, grab only one, one side and then lift the one side. Ah, feels good. Look at your diagonal, even better. But it's not, it's the same side. So same side, good. So it's just a lateral raise for the shoulder. So at the same time, we're gonna do a leg pump. So you're gonna lift the leg and lift the arm and release. So if that's not enough, put a little bit more tension, lift and lower. That's it, shoulders back, chest out, lift and lower. Woo, right? Lift and lower. With your heel, four more. Inhale up, exhale down. Good job. Lift and lower. Two more. Lift and lower. One more. Lift and lower. Good job. Good job. That was not easy, right? Another example of how sometimes not using the band makes it quite challenging. So just try the shoulder one first. Make sure that the resistance level is adequate for you and not too much, not too little, okay? Flex the other foot, sit against your seat nice and tall. Inhale the heel and the fist up. One. Inhale up. Oh, there you go, you got it, two. It's all right though, it was doing the same thing, just a little directional. Three. Four. You gave me a good idea though. Five. <laughs> Six. Good job. We feeling it now? Seven. Big deep breaths for one more. Woo! I told you, right? I told you. All right. So we're going to do again uh, one more diagonal move. Like, so again, same side. Same side. So use the same yeah you got it and then it's going to be the other way so you're going to go out and up and then back press into this foot knee over ankle press up and back really press into this leg and the back of your seat inhale press the heel out exhale down again inhale exhale three more inhale Exhale. Woo! Inhale. Feel it. Press that heel out and back. One more. One more. Woo! See, when you got up this morning, you just think, hey, I'll be lifting up his an arm and leg. It's going to be fantastic. No. Well, see? That surprises every day. So out. Flex the heel. Come back. Shoulders back. Chest out. Lift, feel it, and then come back. Woo! Lift, feel it, and then come back. Isn't that fantastic? Press into that other foot. Woo! Get excited here. Three more to go. Where do you feel this? Isn't that fantastic? One more. So good, so good. Don't let your enthusiasm down now. We got a few more. So now we'll crisscross it. You gave me the idea. We're gonna crisscross it. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. Okay. So nice X. Elbows in. Elbows in. You're gonna stretch out. Woo! That feels good, yes? And then slowly come back, big, big. And then come back to the elbows in position. Palms up. Stretch out. Slowly come back. Slowly. Oh, that's the best part. It's the best part. Woo! All right. Again, again, again. Elbows in. Stretch out. You know it feels good. Oh, it's good. I can tell by the look on your faces. Good, good. Elbows in. Stretch. Woo! I never said comfortable. It's challenging. Strong. Yes? Three more. Three more. Stretch it like you mean it. Woo! Slowly back. You feel the heat? 
fantastic, right? Those are our muscles generating that heat. Those are us. Good. Again, stretch slowly back. Slowly back. Good. Now we only have one more to enjoy. So let's take full advantage. Stretch slowly back. Woo! Fantastic. Good job, good job. We have done no chest exercises yet, so we should totally do that one next because we need to work all the muscles of our bodies with each and every workout. So chest is a big one, right? Chest, legs is the biggest, but chest is second. All right, so we're going to start with palms facing each other with the shawl, wearing like a shawl, yeah? And elbows really big, like we're hugging a bear. Shoulders back, chest out, open the chest. Exhale together. <sighs> Hug that bear. Inhale, open the chest. Now pretend like you're the Hulk and you want to show off your muscles. Urgh, like that. Urgh. Yeah, there you go. Exhale, hug the bear. Urgh. Good. Four more. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. Hug. Two more. One more. Now to make this one a little more intense, because we're getting pretty good at it, we're going to hold it here. I'm going to take one arm and inhale it back. Exhale it back to center and then do the other one. Now we can feel it, yes? Three more along this line. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last one, last one. Listen to that body talk. Yes, one more time. Woo! All right, release the arms, release the arms. I had to do a good arm and shoulder and chest thing, like we did so much beautiful leg stuff, I uh, had to do the same. So, so good job, good job. So thinking about our wrist and our shoulders, um, a few exercises, we can do them with this. It's kind of hard to explain it though, but I'll try, I'll try. So under our feet, okay, you're going to take your band and wrap the two ends together. Okay, got that? And hold the two ends. So like I, I'm making like a, a loop, a circle with it. Like a big circle. There you go. And then just make sure that you're holding the two ends. So now I have my palms facing up. And I'm going to curl my palms in. Yeah, like that. So let the palms go. And then curl the palms in. Yeah, without moving your forearm, just your wrist. Yes, now you got it, right? Yeah, there you go. In and out, and then one more. In and out. Now all we do is we flip the grip. So we put the palm down. So I'm going to grab it, and now my palms are down. Yep, you got it, you got it. You rest them on your legs. You let the palms go down. And then you bring the palms up. Yeah. Down and up. Down and up. Very good, everyone. Very good. That's kind of a hard one to explain, so I'm really happy with all of you. Good. Keep it smaller even. Keep the hands on your lap and make sure it's just a wrist doing it. One more. And close. All right. So I release it. Most of you had it though. Most of you had it. Really good. Really good. So when we stretch the wrist, same movement. Same movement. So you extend the arm that you're stretching must be straight. And then you pull your fingertips uh, back. Then you can stretch the thumb a little bit by making circles with it. But the arm you're stretching must be straight for you to really feel it. There you go. And then if you bring your hand closer 
towards your palm, you're going to feel a different stretch. It will be more inside the forearm than in the hand. Good. And let's do the other side first. So we extend the hand forward. We gently tug on the fingertips, try to keep the arm straight, and stretch the thumb. Good. Fantastic, right? Feels good already. And then you grab, you pull now closer to the palm of the hand and really press through the heel to feel it. That's not even the best one yet. So the best one is this one. This is the one I feel the most. So you make a fist, it's a nice straight arm. Pull the fist into your forearm. Oh, you'll feel it. Feel that, eh? So the angle here will tell you how tight it is. So I mean, you look like you have a really nice angle, 90 degrees or less. Mine is a big wide angle because it's tight. See, so it's more than 90 degrees. So that tells me I need to stretch that more. Good. Release it. Other side. Make a fist. Take that fist. Keep the straight arm and pull the fist gently into your forearm. So see, that one's better. Better angle. So the, it'll tell you a little bit about your body as you stretch, right? Which, which parts are tight and which are not. Good. Everybody's got some good parts that stretch in all kinds of ways and other parts that don't want to stretch at all. So it's our journey into stretching. So flex foot, nice straight leg, or you can soften the knee, press the chest forward. Tuck the chin in. Take a big deep breath. Press the chest forward. Now, when we release our hands down, wherever they may be, and we release our head down, if we imagine trying to scoop, trying to scratch at the earth, if you will, with your head relaxed, you should feel some nice stretches in your back. One more deep breath, and then settle into the stretch as far as you can go for just one more deep breath. Good job. And then walk it up slowly, gently. Look how far you are. Like that's, that's really good. All right, flex foot, shoulders back, chest out, press the chest forward. Tuck the chin in, press the chest forward. For those of you in ear falls and out of, uh, outside of Espanola here, we'll probably be doing some uh, soup on the road, hopefully in September. So release your hands down and try to dig at the earth, relax your head fully to roll the shoulders around to stretch the back. And then settle into the stretch for one more deep breath. Good. And then when you're ready, walk back up. So we're trying to arrange right now for maybe in the fall to get to uh, to go to different places, maybe go visit you in your falls and all kinds of other places. So we're hoping uh, here in Espanola, it's a little easier, you know, because I can make a point of going out and it doesn't take any travel time. So let's pull that elbow gently back for this, this stretch here. Good. And then we'll release it. We'll do the other side. So up, back, and then a nice stretch. Very good. Very good. And then since we only have about 30 seconds left, we're going to reach back for our chest expansion and then take our ear to, to one shoulder. Good. And then up, shoulders back, chest out, reach towards your buttocks and exhale to the other side. Good. And then back up. So good job today. Good job. And I will see you on Monday. And like I said, hopefully I get a chance to visit you all in the fall, I hope. So have a great day. And uh, yeah, see, keep the deep breaths up, okay? Try to breathe as deeply as you can. Have a great day.